Once upon a time there was a beautiful unicorn named Starlight who lived in a magical forest. Starlight had a long, spiral horn on her forehead that helped her do magic. She used her special horn to make rainbows in the sky, heal sick animals, and bring joy to all the creatures of the forest. One morning, Starlight woke up feeling very strange. When she looked in the pond at her reflection, she let out a loud gasp. Her precious horn was gone. Oh no, cried Starlight, how will I do magic now? She tried with all her might to do a magic spell, but all that came out were a few faint sparks. Without her horn, her magic was gone. Starlight galloped quickly through the forest to tell her friends the terrible news. She gathered all the animals and told them she had lost her magical horn. The animals were very worried. How would they make rainbows or heal the sick now? The whole forest depended on Starlight's special magic. An owl who was wise suggested, let us go speak to the Elf Queen. She knows all the secrets of magic. The animals agreed this was a good idea. They would go see the Elf Queen right away to get help for Starlight. So Starlight and her forest friends ventured out of the forest and into the hills where the Elf Queen's crystal palace stood. As they approached, they marveled at the shining towers and turrets that looked like they were made from diamonds. A guard in silver armor stood at the drawbridge. I am Starlight and these are my friends, said the unicorn. I have lost my horn, so I cannot do magic anymore. We seek help from the Elf Queen. The guard gave a nod and let them pass. Inside the Crystal Palace, Starlight and the animals were amazed by what they saw. The walls and ceilings were carved with intricate designs, and chandeliers glittered like giant gemstones. Elves in royal robes bowed to them as they passed. Finally, they came to the throne room. Sitting on a throne of white marble was the Elf Queen, who had skin pale as moonlight and hair dark as night. Welcome, friends, said the Queen in a voice that sounded like chimes. I know why you have come. Please, let me see the unicorn. Starlight stepped forward. The Elf Queen leaned down, placing her hands on the unicorn's head. She closed her eyes for a moment and sighed. Then the queen said, When you awoke this morning, your horn was gone because it is now the new moon. This is the day each month when your magic wanes during the dark of the moon. Have hope, for on the full moon in two weeks' time, your horn will return in full glory, and your magic will be strong again. Starlight smiled wide. Of course, the phases of the moon. Why did I not remember? She thanked the Elf Queen happily for helping her understand why her horn was missing. The animals, too, were glad to know Starlight's magic would come back soon. After leaving the Crystal Palace, the friends returned to the forest and awaited the full moon. Finally, the night of the full moon arrived. Starlight watched the sky eagerly as the round, glowing moon rose up through the trees. She felt a tingling on her forehead and gasped. There, before her eyes, her beautiful horn started to grow back. It twisted and spiraled until it was restored to its full length. Starlight reared up on her hind legs and whinnied joyfully. 
she danced around trying magic spells, and they all worked perfectly again. Multicolored fireworks shot up from her new horn. From that day on, Starlight never worried when her horn disappeared during the new moon. She knew it would always return again when the moon was full. And the magic of the forest stayed in balance thanks to the unicorn's special powers. The animals were grateful to have Starlight's comforting magic back, and they thanked the elf queen for her wisdom. They all lived happily ever after under the glowing light of the moon.